Before I start this video, don't forget to go check out Phoenix Reviews' interview on us when we hit 1k subscribers. And don't forget to subscribe to Phoenix Reviews. So we got some good news and we got some bad news about Toonami. So if you guys haven't heard the news right now, it's been all over since yesterday. And I wanted to do a video on it yesterday, but I wanted to wait until I got the official release from News Anime Network because that's what I usually like to do. This to put in point that if I ever find a story that's like false or anything initial, then we cannot do a video on it. But I wanted to see if it was true from Anime News Network first. So the good news and the bad news, let's start with the bad news. The bad news is Toonami announced on Toonami Pre-Flight that next, I don't think it's next week, but it's like two weeks from now that one piece is going off the air now that is really unfortunate because i like to tune into one piece like every week like the only time that i don't tune in for tsunami is during uh the, the gundam series like the last gundam show and uh gundam unicorn and that's basically my shower break or my guy time to take a bathroom break or go to the fridge and get another beer my computer and look up stuff break or probably my editing break if I have videos but you know I, I really it's really unfortunate that One Piece is going off the air because one I mean it's bad enough that Bleach got off the air uh, I, I want to say either last year or 2015 and now One Piece is going off the air and it's not even the end of the series I mean after Thriller Bark and now they're in a the filler right now that's when you get to the good stuff in One Piece the Supernova arc like, I watched that arc, like, I don't know how many times when I go home, but I watch it so many times on my Funimation app, on either my PS4 or on my TV, that it's probably a top five for me. And I had to do some reorganizing when I do a One Piece or favorite arcs some, some of these days. But now, seeing that One Piece is going off the air, it's disappointing. Like, I hope One Piece goes back on Tsunami sooner or later. Like, the only thing I don't get is how come you can't just like take off a show that no one wants to watch? Oh, okay, I, I can't say that because uh, unfortunately, throughout throughout the weeks when I looked at the ratings, it turned out One Piece was like the lowest like when it came to like viewing, and it's disappointing to see that not many people like One Piece in the U.S. But it, you, One Piece has its fans, but you know, back in 2014, you know, One Piece is popular in Japan, but not really in the West. But Naruto is really popular here, and then you got your, and then unfortunately you got your Attack on Titan and your Sword Online that's popular over here, and then One Punch Man is actually getting really popular over here, so that's a good thing. So I guess the West really doesn't like One Piece, and that's why I. I get so mad about that when I say like One Piece is like totally better than Attack on Titan and Sora Online because it delivers more. And also, you know, like I wish the West would care more about it. Now, on to the good news. How many years have I been talking about this? How many years? How many years have I been talking about this show that I wanted to put on Toonami? Tokyo Ghoul is coming to Toonami in two weeks and I'm hyped for it. Unfortunately, it's replacing One Piece. So I'm trying to figure out, does that mean it's going to take One Piece time slot? Because I think that's a really dead time slot, like, when it comes to, like, viewing. And I don't blame One Piece on that with the bad ratings. I blame, I blame someone of putting One Piece, like, before it ends, before Toonami ends. Like, if, if it were me, I would have done... Since today is the new Samurai Jack, which I'm really hyped about, put Samurai Jack first, then Dragon Ball Super, and Dragon Ball Z Kai, then JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, then Hunter x Hunter, then Naruto Shibuden, One Piece, then put that Gundam Unicorn, then uh, then the uh, Ghost in the Shell, or put Ghost in the Shell before the Gundam X Unicorn or whatever it's called. Because I'll tell you one thing, those are the shows I really want to watch instead of Gundam Unicorn. And I've been loving JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. 
So now I'm really worried about, it's like, where's Tokyo Ghoul? Is that going to take one piece of spot? Because, like I said, it's a like dead time because people are usually asleep. Like, because in the Eastern time zone, that's 2.30. And that's a dead time because that's when everyone's asleep. So I hope Tokyo Ghoul, like, takes Gundam Unicorn spot because it's a new show. And put Gundam Unicorn after Shibuden. Because then after that, I can just go to bed. Because, or take a shower, or my beer break, or my editing break, or whatever. Because, uh, it's not really interesting to me. So, I'm hyped for Tokyo Ghoul to be on Toonami. I'm pretty sure they're going to do the whole season one and then season two. Like, back to back. The question is, maybe they should have just, like, waited, like, like, after Unicorn ends and then put Tokyo Ghoul on. Because... It's unfortunate that One Piece is going off the air, and I'm not just saying that because I love One Piece, but I've seen, I've pretty much seen every episode of One Piece, but it's unfortunate for those people that really like One Piece, and they haven't really caught up to it, I suggest you guys go, to, if you guys have the Crunchyroll app or Funimation, you go watch it there, and um, that's all I have to say, so I just gotta say, for anyone that hasn't seen Tokyo Ghoul, prepare to get hyped because it is an awesome show in my opinion i think tokyo ghoul is better than attack on titan now it's been two or three years since i said about this since we have tokyo ghoul on tsunami now can we please have high school of the dead or future diary on tsunami next 